All right. Hi, guys. Um, going to make a quick video about my experience with the uh, interview about a topic with two adults that are not teachers. So first of all, I'm really sorry that I'm not there today. Um, kind of. I'm, I'm in Mexico right now, but I still miss you guys and I hope you're having a good class. Um, okay, so uh, the topic that I chose was insurance. And the reason I did that is because um, I teach that in personal finance. And I guess since I've been teaching that this summer, it's kind of been on my mind. So uh, that's the topic I chose. And the two individuals that I selected to interview were my father, who um, was an accountant for 35 years. And then I also interviewed uh, a gentleman named Joe Edmondson. And Joe's actually a um, State Farm insurance agent in Excelsior Springs. Uh, so I know him a little bit. He's helped me uh, judge FBLA events, and he's also um, come and spoken to my students. So it was kind of an easy uh, person to think about to possibly interview about this topic. Okay. So the first one is uh, I talked to my father. I called him up on Monday night, and we talked briefly about... Um, how he would approach this. Um, so my father doesn't have any teaching experience at all, but um, my family has a lot of teachers in it. So I think maybe he sometimes has kind of a teaching uh, mind or um, a brain, uh, a <laughs> teaching brain. So uh, I asked him, you know, what, what he would do if he was teaching the concept of insurance to students. And first he was curious about like what type of insurance that I was talking about. And I said, well, you know, any type. I said, we you know, discuss a lot of different types. Um, and he told me that he would approach it in two different ways. Uh, so the first one is that he said that he would have the students come up with like different scenarios um, to, you know, things that would possibly happen in our lives that insurance would um, come into play, you know, things that would happen that insurance would possibly cover. Um, and he said that he would actually first, you know, kind of uh, started off as the teacher would probably have a few scenarios, just kind of get the ball rolling. And then he would have the kids uh, get into small groups and come up with their own scenario. And I was like, geez, you know, for a guy that's never been a teacher, I thought that was kind of a, a neat idea or a neat approach. Um, so when I was thinking about the different families of um, teaching models, um, this one kind of seemed like possibly the social family because I could see that this could end up turning into a role-playing sort of thing if you had the students role-play their scenario after they were uh, done. Or maybe the information processing family, kind of uh, like the inductive thinking model, you know, where you're having the students kind of think inductively about um, the information. And then um, he did mention, though, that he thought that before they came up with the scenarios that he would probably want to go over like some key concepts and terms with them. So things like premium and um, deductible liability, those kinds of words that we uh, hear a lot whenever it comes to insurance. Um, so that definitely made me think that he probably was in the information processing family on that one. Uh, memorization. I don't know if he would have the students use mnemonic devices or not. It could also possibly be, um, oh, I just had it. Uh, he could possibly be like uh, in the behavioral systems family because he probably would use direct instruction during that time. Okay, so then I uh, talked to Joe Edmondson on Wednesday this week, and uh, like I mentioned, I have a previous relationship with Joe. He has actually come and spoken to my uh, students before about insurance, and then also my marketing and graphic design students have created some things for him. So he's, you know, a big uh, help in, uh, at the school. And the first thing he said is that he would actually have an insurance agent come and speak to the kids. <laughs> so I had to chuckle because either he was saying that because that's one of the methods that I use, or he was saying that because he's an insurance agent and he thinks that they need to hear it from an expert. Um, but either way, you know, I thought that um, was kind of interesting that that's where he was at on this one. Um, so it sounds like to me that since he's having the insurance agent come and speak to the kids, that it probably would be in the behavioral systems family, uh, because I'm guessing when that insurance agent was speaking, they would be using direct instruction to do that. Um, and then he did mention that uh, they would possibly like maybe do some role playing, which when he does come and speak to the kids, 
they do use a little bit of role play and he usually gets a couple of the kids up front and he kind of uses them as uh, props as he's going through different scenarios on what could possibly happen. Uh, he usually, you know, gives them candy or something for participating. But um, so once again, if, if he's using role playing, I think that would probably be in the social family. So, OK, well, um, I hope you guys have a really good rest of your class and I will see you soon.